Did you know cheetahs are the fastest land animals? But how long do they live? Cheetahs typically live around 10 to 12 years in the wild. However, in captivity, they can live up to 17 years. Why the difference? In the wild, cheetahs face numerous threats. Predation is a big one. Cheetah cubs are especially vulnerable to lions, hyenas, and other larger predators. Even adult cheetahs can fall prey, especially if they're injured or weakened. Human-wildlife conflict is another major threat. Habitat destruction, poaching, and conflicts with livestock farmers contribute significantly to cheetah mortality. Farmers may kill cheetahs to protect their livestock. Disease also plays a role. With their low genetic diversity, cheetahs are more susceptible to diseases like feline infectious peritonitis FIP, and other viral infections. And let's not forget injuries. Cheetahs rely on high-speed chases to catch prey, which can lead to muscle and bone injuries. Now let's talk about their life cycle. Cheetah cubs are born after a gestation period of about 90, 95 days usually in litters of three, five cubs, though up to eight have been recorded. For the first few weeks, cubs are hidden in dense vegetation to protect them from predators. The mother moves them frequently to avoid detection. Cubs are weaned at around three months but stay with their mother for up to 18, 24 months learning vital hunting and survival skills. During adolescence, young cheetahs, particularly males, may form small groups called coalitions. Females tend to become solitary after leaving their mother, only interacting with males for mating purposes. Cheetahs reach sexual maturity around two, three years of age. In the wild, their life is marked by the constant need to secure territory, find food, and avoid predators. In captivity, many of these threats are minimized. There's veterinary care, regular food supply, and no predators or poachers. This is why cheetahs often live longer in controlled environments. Understanding these aspects of cheetah life helps in conservation efforts. By addressing the threats they face, we can better protect this vulnerable species. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating wildlife insights. See you next